play around, then yung nga, Ramon, like it also really depends on what kind of event and the venue. And so let's say for the booze or birthdays, typically it's like top 100, hip hop, throwback music, like let's say ever after, early 2000s, something like that. Um, if you're spinning, um, and let's say Poblacion, for example. Poblacion, I know they have their own um, uh, genre in which um, is very popular. So there's, when you're spinning in Poblacion, they typically, typically request for like disco or house and so um when you're also unsure of um what um music you have to play for a certain event um what i do is i also ask the host or i ask the organizer like oh can you give me like let's say um three to five songs in which you might want to hear and so once i get the list i can base it off of that list like okay so this is it um these are the types of songs that they want to hear and so come an actual event come the actual event i'll we'll play um the songs in which they provided but if we want to experiment we'll try to gauge their we gauge up based on their reactions obviously and so that's very important and so um if we play a song that and they react negatively we we go back to like let's say what they what they prefer And if they react positively, then that's when we start um, changing the flow of songs we have and transitioning into, let's say, an entirely new genre. And I th- there was just one party I remember. Um, Pau and I, we spun in, I forgot who organized it, who organized it, na Pau, pero the DJ before us played rock music. And parang the crowd was going wild with rock music. Pau and I prepared hip hop. and Like, um, what did we prepare? We, pre- we prepared hip-hop. And so last minute, we were trying to look at all the rock songs we had. And we figured, okay, since they're so high on rock right now, since the previous DJ did end on rock, let's start with rock. Pao and I decided to start with rock. And we slowly transitioned in the middle to um, hip-hop, to the genre which we originally originally planned. and so. Yeah, it's really knowing your crowd. It's really knowing the type of event and uh, the venue you're in also. So yeah, those are factors uh, we consider when uh, preparing a set list or finding the different songs, like what Gia mentioned for um, for the event. So yeah.